what is going on everyone badger here should have locked it sub and let's get into this i if you believe it there's still three more seasons coming from amazon's the lord of the rings the rings of power which at this point is just a farcical wet dream of not even fans i don't know what they're doing but it's certainly a master masturbatory exercise similar to what leslie headland went through where she turned 180 million dollar acolyte show into just a personal therapy session uh something i think patrick uh, mckay jd Payne are doing right now uh, or at least we're all going to need therapy. Whoever is left, we know for that first season, that, as we say, only 37% of people even bothered to finish, looking like half the amount of people or uh, even less than that will be finishing it because we've already seen a, a steep decline week by week. And you can see here from, uh, despite what Amazon wants to say, you're still not exactly clear on what they're counting as seconds. Um, illuminate? and Samba have both had their uh, numbers come out of watch time minutes. And so, yeah, at least as far as its third week, we've declined by 51%. So uh, data analytics company Luminate reports that the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power garnered 372.7 million minutes watched for the week of September 6th through September 12th. Now, that sounds like a lot until you look at some of the other titles and uh, the number one, The Perfect Couple on Netflix, 3.4 billion. So 372.7 million to in the billion number where, yeah, obviously not exactly what you want to see. Top four, but again, only when you search by originals. So with the amount of money they have spent, you would expect that to be top one, two. Lord of the Rings, you expect it to be number one. This should have Game of Thrones type audience every week. Uh, Game of Thrones when it was popular. House of the Dragon first season type numbers. 51% uh, less than the show's second week in which it garnered, oh my God, 764.7. Uh, Even that, just a little over half a mil, uh, a mil, Jesus, half a bill rather. It cannot breach into that billion. Just people aren't watching it. And why would they? They've given them no reason to. Uh, even if that last episode, while maybe boring to some people, was the least offensive, which should just tell you the type of low bar that we're hop skipping and jumping our way over. <laughs> the second week should have gotten significantly more uh, because obviously with Prime and MGM Studios releasing three episodes right off the bat with a total runtime of 204 minutes, while the fourth episode only has... In other words, it was more minutes for them to get, and yet still, because no one's watching. So like it says, besides uh, the fact that the second week only hit a peak of 764.7 million, that is disastrous uh, for the Prime, given that the Nielsen report back in 2022, uh, that the first week of the show's two episodes premiere ranked in the 1.253 billion minutes watched. Yeah, and it's been, and honestly, these days, uh, I don't even trust Nielsen all that much. I prefer the Samba and the uh, Illuminate, uh, which use... Uh, technology that can read your screen uh like a pattern recognition type thing uh so even if you give prime the best case scenario yeah it only brought in around 4.6 million viewers way down compared to the 9.5 million viewers the first season which even that is low but yeah a 57.2 percent decline by the way this character and all of uh the the heartland elves and all the other new ones they weren't in that last episode dare i say it might have been one of the reasons why it actually had the palatable actors you can see here illuminate uh, not the only one. Samba has also uh, cooperated. Some of these uh, 902,000 U.S. households watched the first episode of Rings of Power Season 2, which sounds great until you realize that, oh, way back when, 1.8 million watched the first uh, episodes of that first season, and it's only dropped since then. And more than that, you can see here, bared out in the ratings. Yes, the ratings might, uh, you know, a 7.3, 7.1. But if you look at how many people are actually reviewing and, and giving stars and all that, 12,000 people for that first episode, then 10,000, then 9,000, then 7,000. And when you get to this last episode, the one that was the most palatable, 4.1 thousand people even bothered to review it. So they are just absolutely hemorrhaging 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 
uh, whatever little audience they had. And again, all this data appears to lead credence to the Hollywood Reporter from April 2023. Kim Masters revealing that 63% of individuals who watched part of the show's premiere back in 2022 did not to complete the show, which of course leads to that famed 37% domestic completion rate, which apparently overseas it reached 45 and 50 would have been acceptable. So we couldn't even fail with class. Uh, Prime, of course, trying to push it, talking about how number one it is, even though they are reviewing numbers are uh, <laughs> press X to doubt. Press X to doubt and uh, J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay talking about how they really had to rely on themselves and uh, really need uh, all you because, of course, the modern audience is watching this and it's just getting drowned out by that very loud group of bigots right uh that strategy did not work for the acolyte and uh, we're very nearly getting you see that in fact the rings of power is already at the acolyte levels luminate reported that the show garnered 380.5 million minutes watched its second week it then fell to 262 million by its third week before falling to 232 million in its fourth by the show's fifth week it fell completely off the charts so yeah much like an acolyte, I think the difference is we didn't think that was going to get canceled because it would mean they'd have to basically admit that we were all right. All those racist incel bigots that kept talking about lore breaking. Oh, and they were just threatened by women and sexualities. Yeah, yeah, we won, apparently, and even though that's not the reason they did it. They did it because it just was not financially viable. For the acolyte, it was $600,000 every like 60 seconds. It was some obscene number like that. Can Rings of Power tank this? Can Amazon and Jeff Bezos just, yeah, he probably can. Will he, though? I don't know. You let me know what you think. Will he? Can he? Yes. Will he? I don't know. This is getting harder and harder for them to uh, prove or, or just try and show that it's, oh, everyone loves Rings of Power. <sighs> Press X it out. Anyway, make sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well.